So this is my room, um, thank you so much for coming over, I would have us sit in like the living room or something like that, but because I have housemates and stuff, I figured I didn't want them to kind of get in our way or bother us or make you nervous or anything, cause I know you're still like <laughs> getting used to me, so it's, with so many other people, it would be kind of crazy, yeah. Well, um, I'm so sorry, it's kind of not the cleanest in here, but, um, I just <laughs> was kind of frantic and nervous. Not in a bad way, not in a bad way, but I, um, I just got so excited that I was, like, rummaging around, like, doing things last minute, so I hope you don't mind. Um, but I'm so, I'm so excited that you're here, and I think that we're gonna have a really great day. I just felt like we could kind of chat a bit here and plan our day, and, like, just like maybe chat somewhere more private so we can get all of our bases covered before we start our awesome day. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly have been thinking so much about this date that I feel like I have planned our next 10 dates. <laughs> but I'm sorry if that's, that's forward, but I feel like you hung the moon. Like, I am so so giddy, you make me feel like the happiest little girl in the whole world. Um, like if I could tell younger me about this, she would be like, you bagged that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that's cheesy, but um, no in all serious, I was so excited about today. And I know that we've been like talking a lot, like on the phone and texting, but like to have you here with me is like, yay. Um, and now I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. <laughs> Uh, well, first, I know that we agreed on coffee. Is that still cool? Or is that still something you're interested in? Perfect, 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 perfect. Do you have, like, a go-to coffee order? Just so, like, when I get up there, I can order for us and you don't have to worry about anything? Okay, that's fair. No, I, I changed my up a lot, too. I'll let you pick, but I'm still paying. This is on me, okay? Don't worry about today at all. Yeah, no, please, please. I asked you on the date. And my intention was to spoil you and just treat you, you know, really special today. So, it's all about you. <laughs> and then I just get the treat of being in your beautiful presence. So, by the way, I'm so sorry if I, I'm staring a little bit, but your makeup is just like stunning. It's so beautiful. You look all pink and blushy and lovely. Oh, you're friended. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so kind. 
Well, maybe your friend can do my makeup because sometimes I need a little bit of help. And that's not fishing. That's just like, I can admit where I, you know, I would love to have some more pink in my cheeks. So that's really pretty. I like it a lot. It really suits you. Um, but anyway, I'm like getting so distracted. There is a very cute coffee shop that I really, really like. Um, and I can't say I'm a regular there, but they know who I am. <laughs> so, um, I promise I'll treat you very sweetly. And I went and take you to some place that I didn't have that utmost faith and trust that it's going to be amazing. Also, are you hungry at all? Or do you think you will be soon? Because I can, you know, find a place to get some, like, food, um, to fuel our day and make sure, like, we're in good moods, happy stomachs, all that good stuff. And yeah, yeah, no, of course, yeah. Do you, do you have any places around here that you really are interested in? Are you... Gail, it's totally funny, but I just want to make sure I'm not, you know, deciding on something that's you're not going to be interested in. Okay, no, I've never been there, but that's not, and I'm not picky, um, so I would I would love to try that out. So my coffee place that I love, and your, is it like a brunch place? Okay, yeah, perfect. So we'll get to try out each other's things, and I think that we should be super sweet. Yeah. Um, also, like I said, I've kind of been planning around, but I wanted things to be flexible for you in case, like, you have, you know, plans come up or, or anything. Like, I just didn't want to hold you to, like, locked in today. I wanted to make sure that you, like, you know, if we did coffee and, and brunch and you were like, you know, this has been fun, but... Okay, no, I didn't think you would, but I just, like, I do want to make sure that you know that everything's flexible. I did book something for later, just, you know, it's kind of a surprise, but um, that's just because I, I had to make the reservations early, but if you decide not to go, there's no, like, cancellation fee, like, it's not a big deal. I, um, I totally want to respect your, your schedule and your feelings about the state, so. Um, is there anything that you have been, like, wanting to do because again I have so many things in mind but um they can always be for other dates if we if we want to go that route that was that was on the that was on the list that was on the um future agenda so to speak I love thrifting I think that would be so much fun I have there's so many amazing places here to thrift and I love thrifting my clothes and making my own clothes, so no, I think that should be so much fun. Do you go thrifting often? It looks like those clothes were made for you, like it, it, I've seen your social media, like you dress to the nines, to the tens, <laughs> um, so I'm quite surprised that you didn't like curate your whole wardrobe. I mean you did, like even if you thrifted them, but like they just look like they were tailored to you in the most respectful way possible, obviously. Yeah, no, I, I think that should be so much fun. And then, like, not to give it away, but just to, like, set up our day. I did, um, I thought it would be fun, maybe, because I know you're kind of artsy and you like, like, creative things, um, to do a sip and paint. I don't know if you've ever been to one of those. It's like, they have, like, wine and some little beverages, um, that I thought could be like sweet and romantic and then uh, you paint and they like they teach you pretty much everything which is good for me because I have, <laughs> I have no painting skills but I think it's like a botanical theme so I thought that would be so so gorgeous and uh, speaking of botanicals I think the weather's nice enough that there's like a little mini trail not like a hike or anything but like a path almost with beautiful, beautiful flowers, almost like a little flower garden near the cafe, and we can walk from there, or from here to there. Um, it's like maybe five minutes each way, and it might be really pretty if you're feeling that. And then in terms of transport from and to the paint thing, I'll totally drive. You can, you know, have a drink or two without worrying about anything. Um, I want you to feel totally comfortable. Um, and then, like, if we wanted to come back here and have a drink, uh, later on, that would, you know, we could do that if you didn't want to drink there, what 
whatever you feel comfortable with. And I think they have like wine as well as just like soda water and seltzers and I don't know, things like that. If you're if you're not a big drinker, or you're, you know, yeah, I just, you know, I just want to go over all the bases. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Um, but I'd love to keep you for as long as I can. And then if you didn't want to do the paint sip, like we'd change our mind. Um, we could do a movie night here. I got a bunch of stuff for like almost like a spa movie night, lots of snacks and stuff. I know you've like listed out a couple favorites to me over the phone, so I kind of took note. <laughs> um, and uh, I don't know, I thought that could be another option. I love a good cozy night in, especially if I got to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you. And I already told my roommate, so they're out of the house. No, you know, I don't, I'm not playing anything. I'm just saying, like, we, you know, they won't be talking with you or, like, anything like that. It'll be totally us, totally private, so, like, you won't get, you know, too nervous or anything. I know first dates and, like, stuff like that are already hard enough without you having to deal with other people. Even though they're, like, the sweetest. You love them, and I hope you get to meet them very soon. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like I've been talking this whole time, um, and I feel so bad, but, um, why don't you tell me kind of how you're feeling right now and what you're thinking? Yeah, no, we totally get that. I'm excited too, and I agree that we should just kind of play it by ear, but, um, I'm just pumped <laughs> to spend this day with you. Did you, um, other than the things we mentioned, is there anything else that you want to kind of like throw in the loop that we should maybe do? Oh, that would be fun. That would be so, oh, see, like this is why I love talking with you and being around you because I think that's so cute and clever. Okay, so I clearly love your style. Um, so I would love, for, <laughs> I love that. I know I've seen like videos or TikToks and stuff of people picking out things at the thrift. So if you find me anything, I will wear it. It could be the goofiest thing, even though you have great stuff. But like if you purposely put me into something goofy, I would still wear it. And I think that that would be super sweet. And I will try my best to find something that is worthy to be on your body. But, um, I, uh, I hope so. I think anything would look good on you, so. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I am gonna carry this around with me today, and I know it's so cheesy, but I figured if not just for me, for us, it could bring us some good luck. It's just like a little rose quartz that I was gifted by a friend, one of my roommates, but, um, I don't know. I have a really good feeling about you, so I figure it might... <laughs> be cutesy to carry on. I have a necklace with it, but I've been trying not to wear too many necklaces. I just got a tattoo on the back of my neck. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any tattoos? Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. No, I would love to see that when you get it. I think that's awesome. And you really have an eye, so that's beautiful. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I, just thought it would be kind of cute. See, I know that you mentioned you were kind of into stuff like that, so I thought it could be a good omen for the two of us. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell me. I know that, um, I know that I'm probably <laughs> not the first and only girl that you've, you know, been seeing and going out with, but, um, I, uh, I think that you're, you know, you're kind of my top priority. You're kind of someone that I see myself with for a long time. So, oh, and I'm, like, you don't have to answer this right now, but, like, is that something that you'd be comfortable with? Like, me solely pursuing you and, you know, like, really thinking of us more than just, like, casual talking friends. I know we're not friends, but I just want to make sure that, like, you understand that I'm in it to pursue you. I think that you've hung the moon. Like, I truly 
I think you're so beautiful and charming and witty and pretty and I'm trying to make you my girl, so I I just figured I should put my intentions out there because a lot of people don't. But um, again, you don't have to say anything. But I guess I asked you to say something in the beginning, but I don't want to put you on the spot. I'm just letting you know that those are my intentions, and I will do whatever it takes. I will spoil you rotten. Um, I'll make you feel comfortable and beautiful and all the things that you, you so clearly deserve, so, speaking of deserve, <laughs> to get off that topic, I'm sorry if I totally cornered you, but I was going to get you flowers for today, um, I literally went to Trader Joe's this morning and I picked out a bunch of beautiful bouquets and stuff, but, um, I forgot to ask you your favorite color flower and I didn't want to spoil it, so I didn't ask, so I guess now is the time for you to tell me. And I knew that we were going to be out all day, so I didn't want to buy flowers just for you to have to keep them here. Because that would be like I bought myself flowers. <laughs> and um, so I didn't want you to have to carry them around or for them to not be in water. But next time, like if we ended up at your place or something, I would totally bring some, you know, because I, I know that you really like them, so... I would bring some and just make sure that they have a good home and they're not gonna get ruined on our big trip. But I again didn't want to keep them here and but I want you to know that like that was on my mind and that's important to me to make sure you, you get nice things like that. Okay, I'll note that. Do you have any like a second favorite? Okay, yeah. I think my favorite I really like peonies and tulips. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are kind of my favorites. Not, that's not a hint. That's not a wink wink, but I do like flowers. So if that, maybe we can make that a tradition. We can like switch off. <laughs> but every time your flowers, you know, have seen the last of their days, I will make sure to refresh. Do you have any allergies or anything like that now? Okay, cool. Also, like, with chocolates or any goodies, like, is there anything that you're like, ugh, no, that's not for me. Just, again, just in case. Just to prep. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really picky either, and I've got no allergies, but, um, so that could make it easy to plan, like, dinner dates and nice things. Good, good. Noted. Um, but for today... If we did do the paint and sip, again, we can still come back and do a movie night after. I'm not sure if you have, like, a curfew or something that your friends have set, but, um, no pressure to stay too late here with me. I don't want to, you know, imply anything, but I do want to spend as much time with you as possible. So, do you have any movies or something like that that you're, there a show that you're, like, dying to watch just, like, for today or for you know, sometime in the future. Oh, fun. Oh, I've never seen that, but I, like, I've heard so many good things about it, and if you like it, I know you have good taste, so. No, that could be, like, a fun thing to work together. I know you've, we've <laughs> talked about it before, but I love Studio Ghibli, and some of my favorite movies, um, are from, like, that I was going to say creator, but from Studio Ghibli, and um, if you haven't seen any of them, I would be so honored and die to be the one to introduce you to them, because I think they're so special, and they're so sweet, and genuine, and beautiful, and everything that you are, so, yeah. Has, any, has anybody ever told you that, I don't know, I was, I was trying to think of, like, your spirit animal, like, you just, like, you give off this aura that, like, reminds me of something, or, like, not necessarily an animal, but, like, you have, you know, like, for example, like, my spirit animal is a hummingbird, if, I don't think anyone's ever told me I give off, like, hummingbird energy, but I feel like I do, because I'm gonna, like, boop, 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 all the time, and I really like flowers and sweet things, <laughs> but you just, like, you give off essence and you make me feel so comfortable and you 
radiate like I just I think that it's you know no wonder everybody gravitates towards you it's it's really like it's both intimidating and calming so <laughs> anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stop because we're not even 20 minutes into this day and I'm like totally gushing over you I promise I'll become more like settled <laughs> as the day goes on but I think that I could like totally sweep you off your feet and run away with you forever if you'd let me and I don't care if that's forward I have never met anyone like you <laughs> well I'll stop talking and we can get started with our actual date I am um, I'm just gonna grab some things for us to take on our way like some waters and you know and a you know, jackets and stuff like that just in case so we're prepped and ready but then we can we can leave and get on with everything and you don't know how excited I am so let's uh, keep our fingers crossed take our <laughs> crystal and um, let's do this thing <laughs> 